my favorite memories in life is whooping my younger brothers in literally everything we did. No! But around the age of 10, both of my younger brothers managed to grow significantly taller and stronger than me, which has caused some issues. That's why today I'm here to redeem myself by challenging my younger brother to a Minecraft build battle that he is confident he'll win. But what he doesn't know is I've been practicing these mini game builds for the last week and I'm going to absolutely decimate them. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to round one. And our first minigame is a luck-based minigame, my friend. Oh gosh, that's kind of a vague first, okay. So guys, for our very first minigame build today, based on luck, we're gonna create an pretty incredible axolotl race using two axolotls, some concrete, and some crazy traps. So what we're gonna do is first off, use world edit to completely revamp the entire section here, where one of these halves becomes uh, pink, one of these halves becomes brown, and then inside of these, all we have to do really is create similar almost actually identical and very complex axolotl racing courses all right guys we are going to be building the rubber ducky game that you see at every carnival and we're just going to get building the rubber ducky game right away right at the entrance the only thing left to do is complete the side here and then we can start working on the water section for the rubber ducks that we're going to be floating in there so what we're going to do is we're going to create a starting region right here and uh oh, might as well go out on the pink you know we'll do this and then a pink gate there we go all right. Gonna murder you. There we go. So we got the pink axolotl and we'll get to murder this one now. And then we can go ahead and give her a little name tag here. If you guys are team pink, drop a comment down below. And then to really pull this off, all we have to do is build out the pink side just like this and create some sort of interesting path. And then uh, basically copy and paste it over there. And now all I have to do is actually make this look gorgeous. All right, so I did a little bit of world edit magic and I moved it down one and over. So now it perfectly lines up as you walk in. So he can't get us for symmetry reasons. And now we just need to fill this in with a rainbow colored floor and add the water and we can start adding our luck based rubber duckies. All right, so I'm adding fishing rods on the edge of the pool. And basically these are going to be your little mini game tool to fish in your rubber ducky. So I'm actually thinking about using chickens uh, because chickens are the closest thing in Minecraft to a duck. And we can name the chickens and basically whatever chicken you, you reel in as the prize you get. So we're gonna load up the pond with a bunch of chickens. And then after that, we'll name them up. And then basically it's just a matter of letting Zach fish one out to see what he wins. I should probably make it more deadly because like, I feel like if he falls off, he, he deserves to die in my opinion. All right, that is pretty spectacular. So now the fun part is uh, copy pasting this over. We only have 300 seconds left and I'm actually not sure if that's a long time or not because I usually don't think in terms of seconds. Copy it here and then one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I would say probably here. And let's fix this. Oh, finally. Oh my God. I did, literally did not think we were gonna get that. All right, let's go ahead and name them uh, Team Brown. These are now set up and in my opinion, they look uh, <laughs> really bad actually. All right, we have 37 seconds left, but we're basically done. I do wanna just load a little bit more chickens up front and they're all gonna be the loser class because these are gonna be the ones that people that walk up to fish are more likely to catch. So if you catch a loser one, uh, you basically get absolutely nothing. So really that's what we want them to win. Time's about to get serious guys. The music just got a lot more intense because I just got the idea to build some grandstands that are actually watching this. And I don't know if I can do this very quickly, but if I build one and paste it and can do it correctly, it will work. All right, that looks okay. If I'm quick about this, then I should be able to copy there and then copy here. And then if I stand kind of right in here and then copy, rotate 180, all I have to do, I believe is stand in the exact same spot, paste it and then change it to brown. Brown concrete powder, pink concrete powder, spruce, Stairs. What is that called? Warped? No. Crimson. Crimson stairs. Oh! Oh god. Axolotl died. Axolotl died. We have an emergency death. Oh my god. Bro. All right, Isaac. All right, Zach. I feel pretty good with my first build of the day. That's all I'm going to say. Well, I don't feel good about mine. So let's go ahead and take a look at yours first. All right. I believe the theme was luck today, right? That's correct. I made my favorite carnival game, Zach, the rubber ducky game where you flip over a duck and see if you won. What? Have you never seen the rubber ducky game? Bro, no, this is so good. How do we win though? Now you just have to take your fishing rod and pick a chicken and fish them in and they're named and that's how you see which one you won. What? So is that the one you choose? Oh uh, yeah. Now you just have to look at them to see what you won. There's no, nothing. 
That means I got one that wasn't named. You're name tagging it. No. I saw Jack. you. I saw you cheat, but uh, I understand. A giant stuffed animal. You are the luckiest person alive. I picked the one that didn't have a name. <laughs> How was there one without a name, Zach? They were all named. Dude, that's actually a legit great get game idea. Like, I got to give you props for that. That's actually really good. All right, let's go ahead and check mine out. A uh, little bit slightly different here. Welcome. Oh, God, everything despawned when I left. All right, guys, welcome to Axolotl Racing. Isaac, please choose your team, pink or brown. I am going to go team pink. He's fresh out of the spawn egg, so he's going to be a little bit faster. All right, team brown, let's go, baby. We're going to open the gates in three, two, one, go. First one to make it to the end is the winner. What? They're so slow. We got brown making out of the gate right now. Brown's going to go ahead and make a lead right now. We got team brown moving out and brown's looking at the lava. Okay, and team brown's moving slowly. He's getting a little bit of a lead on team brown. Oh, Mike's going backwards. Turn around. Oh God, it's neck and neck right here, folks. This could not be any more intense. We're gonna get a top-down view from the helicopter. This is crazy. Team Brown has a slight, slight lead on him. Out of all the animals, why would you choose this one? It moves like one mile per hour. Could hop in that water, and this could be a DNF. And Team Pink takes the lead. It's a neck and neck race. Oh my God, oh, Pink he's is in the water. First. They're both in the water. Oh no, are they trapped in there? Did you even test this? And they have become stuck in the water. Oh, Team Pink gets out and goes backwards. Folks, we got another five seconds, and whoever's farther is the winner. Five, four, three, two, one, and Team Brown is the winner. Team Pink just can't make his mind up. What a crazy race, folks. But, I mean, I like it. That's that's a solid game. Round one, one, two, or three points. Isaac, go ahead and take your selection and pop it down right now. Uh, it's controversial, but I'm going to give Isaac a gold as well. I think it was great. Wow. Great round there, folks. Lots of creativity, lots of good stuff. Let's move on to round two, though, where things get even spicier because round two... It's parkour. Ooh, I don't want to build a parkour course. The first thing I want to do is indent the land here because I'm not going to make this one too big. I think the mistake Isaac's going to make today is trying to make it too large and it's going to lack the detail that it really needs to be a great parkour course. I'm trying to think of a fun way to do parkour that isn't going to be like really like overdone. Like everybody's jumped on blocks. So my first thought is we set the whole floor to water and then we use the drip leaf block to make like a parkour course that you cannot stop on. All right, so these blocks you cannot actually jump on, I don't think, they're the small drip leaf. So we're just gonna put these around as like fake outs. He's gonna think that you can jump to that, but really the first parkour thing is right there. So this is just a complete diversion. He's gonna come here and he's gonna jump and fall through, but really what you have to do is wrap the corner and hit that. If I was good at parkour, I could have done it. I'll actually move it one closer so it's easy. So the idea here is I would like to make like this very aesthetic starting point here that looks a little bit like this. Uh, because really what I'm going for more than parkour is a very pretty build. We'll get some white wool and some black wool because we're gonna have a little finish sign here. And on the edge, we'll go ahead and mark it up with some slabs like this. All right, that looks okay. Now it's gonna be really complex, but I'm trying to kind of blow Isaac away here. All right, we're gonna do a quick test to see if this is possible. I'm trying to make it easy because I don't like super hard parkour. Um, oh my gosh, it is difficult though. These make it really hard. You cannot stop at all. All right, here we go again. Oh yeah, I'm doing it. Okay, this one's a little far, so we'll move that in. I wanna try to make like a hoppy parkour where you actually have to like jump on like something like this. Does that work though? Oh, um, we only have 10 minutes. I think it's a little bit uh, tough to do a build like this. I, I think that the redstone could theoretically power it like this if I use like repeaters like this in the middle. So maybe if I did something like this, the repeating system would theoretically power it through the brick on the side. Let's see. That's what I'm looking for. But I want it to be more of a button. That way when you turn it on, it kind of like pops up. There it is. That's actually kind of cool. Let's slow it down all the way. I think we'll just max slow it because I want Isaac to kind of win. Okay, well, uh, that's that. Um, now all we have to do is go through and cover this all up so that I can put lava down here so he has to hop across it and then test it out. And I'm gonna make a little witch's hut in the middle here. Uh, just a little custom witch hut and this will be the finish of the parkour because we only have 405 more seconds so we can't go too big and use up the entire area. Um, so we'll get a quick building in here as the finish line. All right, so here is the finish line. We just set up a quick little witch's booth here. Um, the parkour course is complete, so the last thing to do will just be to spruce it up and make it feel a lot more immersive. So we're gonna add a lot more of these small drip leaves, and then I'm gonna go look for some, maybe some seagrass and uh, some tadpole eggs. Oh, I forgot the pressure plate. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think we could do maybe like, like that. How about this? Hey, look how cool that is. All right, I am actually extremely happy with the work that I've done, but the redstone needs to go in one more. Check. 
All right, we're gonna absolutely dominate Isaac on this. I'm telling you right now, if I don't get a gold for learning so much about freaking redstone in like 30 seconds, to be able to pull this off, I should get the dub. We decided it wasn't fair if we vote. And so what I think would be best, guys, is uh, every like is a vote for me. and Every comment is one for Isaac. If you want to comment and like, you can do that if you want to vote for both of us. We're going to try to figure out a way to get you guys to vote because it's not fair when we do. We do need to put a witch up here in the shack for a little bit more immersion. And we'll definitely need a name tag because if we don't name this thing, it will definitely despawn before he gets here. All right, so we've named the witch witch. And we do want to put a little fence gate up here too so it doesn't have, end up like running out. Even though I don't think it will, I don't know. I've seen some Minecraft things do some weird things in my day i don't know for some reason i really feel like this needs maybe like something like this it's like hey guys this is where you start the race come on down to the old race start section right here baby oh you know what else i could do what if i added like a world record over here with like all previous world records make it five so it's even and then i can pop one up in the middle and do something like this and finally we're gonna give a shout out to all our cadence out there there's our world record wall right there Ten seconds left. Ah, oh, got it. Okay, there's our spectators. We are here. It is time. Let's see what Isaac has done. Oh no, I built it backwards. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. All right, Isaac, that's time. All right, do you want me to come to yours or do you want to come over here again? You can come to mine. All right, I'm here. All right, Isaac, let's bring it all the way to this side. We're gonna start over here today. Oh, a little different. And uh, you can start whenever you're ready. Okay. Oh. Well, but it looked impossible. Oh, wow, that is actually very advanced. Wow. What do you think of that? How did you even figure out how to do look that? Look at this, what? look at this. I gotta show you. It actually was so complicated for me to figure out. I'm gonna set this to air. I did this as a layer with lava, and then underneath this, I did another layer when I'll set this to air. And that had a redstone contraption where the redstone signal passed through the solid block to go up, and then I delayed the signal so that it would work. Wow, I, I'm very impressed. Anything redstone, Zach, is an instant impression on me. That is gonna be high points today. That's what I can tell you right now. <laughs> thank you, thank Excellent you. work, excellent thank work. You. Let's take a look at yours. Well, Welcome to Swampland Parkour. Make it to the witch's hut. What? Oh, oh you, you messed it up. Oh, you can't jump on frog eggs? Messed it up again. You can't even jump on that either. This was a diversion. You were supposed to go straight just like you did. The actual parkour is to the right. Oh my oh. God. So you basically did what I did a little bit, but without the redstone, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> yep, and you have completed. Okay, all right. This little plant here in the front, Zach, I knew you were going to jump to it, so I put that there, and the actual thing was to the right. That's really not bad. I can do this whole thing without even falling. Look at that. I know. I wanted to make it kind of easy, because that's how I like my parkour. Wow, okay, okay. All right, I think yours was good. Again, the audience is picking, so you can be honest with your votes, because ours will not impact the actual winner as much as who they vote for. Uh, so go ahead and pick your color in three, two, one, go. I know, I know, I just felt like it just, you know what I mean? It was a great build. It just felt like it was so much worse than mine. You know what I mean? I, I'll be honest, Zach. I thought mine had a lot more detail than yours. All right, I'll give yours a gold, actually. I agree, it did have some great detail. All right, all right, that seems fair. And round three, I will be starting it in two, one, bang. 1v1. Oh, 1v1, interesting. So whatever we design, we need to design to fight each other 1v1. Or it doesn't have to be a fight. All right, I'm gonna do something interesting here. I'm gonna create what I call belief spleef. And uh, this is inspired from Isaac's. However, I think I can make an actual really fun mini game here. The idea is that you run around on this, you try to knock each other off spleef style, and it's really tedious to set up and it takes forever. But it's gonna be really fun, I hope, with two people. All right, let's give this a test run. Here we go. So if there's two people and you each take out two rows, dang, it's like, this is just big enough for one person. That's the problem. I don't know if I can more edit this block or not. If I can, that'd make it a little easier. That's a little better. So you've got this long slender area to play the game in and it looks kind of sick. All right, guys, I am really gonna go hard this round. I'm even thinking about copying pasting that cake over there from the surrounding area. I mean, there's no rule against that and putting it on either side and then we can have a cake decorating competition on top of being a baking competition. Now we can work on making this pretty. It's not just like a carnival game. I kind of want to give it like nice carnival vibes. So we'll do a red and no, we'll do a, we'll do a cyan and white. You know, you don't see that too often when it comes to carny games, something like this. So then we have this little wall around the edge and then we can actually just use some colored glass here of the similar white blue format. That way you can't like step on the edge at all. Okay, this looks pretty sick. And then finally we'll do a thin glass cyan and white wall. So 
So now it kind of alternates this cool checkerboard pattern. You have a cool way in there. And then finally, all we need to do is make a really aesthetic spruce platform because I think that's gonna mesh so well with this. And that's gonna be where you start. All right, so step one in this is going to be getting your chest and growing your wheat with bone meal to obtain the wheat needed to bake a cake. And then step two is going to be using the bucket to milk the cow. I'm gonna put a lot of time into this staircase because I want it to be kind of ridiculous. <laughs> I want Isaac to see it and be like, Zach, why? Now we have this like gargantuan staircase to lead up to the competition. I don't know if I can even copy that on the other side. So I'm gonna make a walkway around the edge now out of wood. And you're just gonna have to walk to the other side to begin. And then uh, maybe like a starting zone, like a team red, yellow, green, and blue. So you've got like four starting colors and you can like put them in the corners. Okay, that's not bad. Obviously though, it's not perfect, but the idea in the perfect world is you have multiple teams here and you come to your corner and you're good to go. All right, so I forgot that cakes actually need eggs too to be crafted. So we're gonna have to put a bunch of chickens in here and then we'll just put fence gates on the front. So, and then you make your way to the crafting table right here at the end. And first person to bake their cake and place it on the pedestal will be the winner. And then after that, we're gonna add a second where we copy and paste that cake in and then we're gonna have a cake decorating competition. So looking around at the surrounding environment, we could use that cake, but I think it's a little bit too big. Oh man, but we might have to because there's no other good cake. I have 93 seconds. I actually think I should be able to pull this off so we can make one of each color. All right, that is kind of awesome, I think, but it would look even more awesome if we colorize the pillars to match the teams. Oh no. Okay. That's good enough. That's good enough. I accidentally deleted the whole thing, but I got it back, so. All right, guys, this will be interesting because Isaac accidentally erased his entire base. So we're gonna start with his and see what he has recreated now with a slight extension of time because of a major error. Isaac, what are we dealing with here? So I did have a pretty elaborate build. Um, basically, it's first person to build a cake and place it on the diamond pedestal at the end is the <gasps> winner. I don't even know how to build a cake, but okay, that's fun. Let's try it. Time starts in three, two, one, go. All right. Okay, I got my wheat. Now I gotta milk my cows. A lot of milk right now. I don't know how many milk you need. I'm just breaking the sugar cane. I know I need sugar for something, and then I think you need an egg, right? Yeah. Well, it's just a matter of who can get an egg first now. I got an egg. I got four eggs. I got four eggs. I don't know what the crafting recipe is. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I'm using your table. How'd you know the crafting recipe? I didn't. I missed it. Oh my God. I can't pick it up, can I? I'm looking it up. No, no. You can't look it up. You have to figure it out. <laughs> what is the cake crafting recipe? I missed where it goes. But I can't even make it now. I don't even know what I did. <laughs> no. Oh Boom. my God. What even was the recipe? Bro, what did I... I'm so stupid. Yeah, well, there you go, Zach. This is the cake baking game. All right. That's pretty good. I like it, actually. I actually genuinely like it. I think that's a really creative game. I think the build is, is exactly what it should have been despite losing it. I really liked it. Yeah. Now let's come take a look at mine in creative mode. This one is a little different, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Drip Spleef. Please follow your host down the alley here and prepare for battle. Ooh. Right upside this staircase, you will be uh, able to choose a team and put on a team uniform for Drip Spleef. I'll go ahead and take team red. All right, don't punch it. You will lose the armor. Go in survival mode and punch it. I'll be team yellow. And I need to team blue. All right, team yellow versus team blue. This is simply Drip Spleef. You know the rules. First one to fall to the ground loses. Can you break things? No breaking. Okay, it's just, it's just running. Go. Ooh, I do enjoy this. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. I'm back. Dang it. I fell. Oh, no, baby. I lost. I thought there was like four layers. You only did one layer. You can only do one layer of drip spleef. You can't layer it. I enjoy that. I would really enjoy that if it was the entire thing. If you had a bunch of people in layers. I think the build came out nice, though, with the colors, the banners, the carnival vibe. I like it. It's not bad. I liked it. Yeah. All right. Round three. Let's go ahead and give the voting here. Three, two, one. A deserved iron for Isaac just because I had to waste another seven minutes for him to build well, it. Well, I think that's reason. fair. I did accidentally delete like everything on the server. So, you know what? <laughs> he pretty much wiped it all. I'm going to be honest. No, guys, there's a lot of potentials left. Mini golf, racing, PvP timed, but only one will make it into the final round. I want mini golf. Mini golf, mini golf, mini golf. Give it to me. We got mini golf. Oh my God. 
god can you believe it what were the odds of that guys round for the final round and in my opinion the best round because we always save the best for you guys is the minigame build by the way i'm hoping that i whip isaac today all right let's go ahead and start we're gonna do some ice on the foundation here something like this a little bit of a sand trap here go around like that that's gonna be round one we're gonna keep it very simple what i'm gonna go for on this one instead of extreme detail is extreme quantity i want to make an actual 18 hole golf course golf course in 10 minutes if i want to do that i have to go unbelievably fast and it's not gonna be easy to be honest all of my courses will be mid but i imagine we'll make up for that uh with what is going to be hopefully very fun all right guys final round i think we're down like two points according to our own scoring but this round is mini golf i am kind of a mini golf pro so i just need to get my world edit wand out and we're obviously going to be going lime concrete for the entire area all right so this is the starting hole for our mini golf course it is going to be red and white like a candy cane because the surrounding area is all candy so we might as well stick with the candy theme instead of trying to create our own Hole one is going to be a relatively simple one. We want to start them out very easy. And this one is just going to be a nice hopper hole. And hole one is now completed. I'd like to get nine holes in here before the time runs out, but it's going to be very tight because we do not have a lot of time. I think the best thing to do then would be to like create our shapes and then go back in and fill them because I want this to be very, very quick. <laughs> I just want to spam Isaac with holes. And I want him to see it and be like, how is that even possible that you have done this? All right, this one's going to have a water hazard, and we'll fill it all in again. And then we're going to have our hole. Boom, boom, break. <laughs> we already have two holes. All right, new plan. We definitely don't have enough time to make this a bunch of different holes, so we're just going to have to make this a super long mini golf hole and essentially just extend the entire thing. And we're gonna add some bunkers into our mini golf course to give it a little bit more realism. And basically it's just going to be soul sand. So basically if you hit these, your snowball is going to instantly stop. And it's going to act just like a sand bunker in actual golf. Um, but we're adding that to our mini golf to really increase the detail level. And I hope that's like a feature that'll at least bump us up to a gold. Um, because we definitely do not have enough built to get a diamond put those arrows on there and it just tells everyone hey this is the right direction all right course number four this one's going to be a giant oblong circle shape so we've done one two three we've already done five and it's taken half our time so the odds of getting to 18 is really not looking great at the moment but i'm not going to stop trying i'm looking around the edge and i'm trying to find things i can copy and paste in to make it look good and i'm seeing this bunny right here and i'm going this guy would look amazing on either side so we're just going to snag him up and bring him to the build All right, so we're getting things from the side of the map here, and I do think this really framed in hole one. This is going to be the chocolate bunny death hole. Um, I think we need to add some like little weapons on these guys to really make it very intimidating. We're going for a scary theme here, but we only have 30 seconds left, so. We got the lava hole, moving on to the next one. But then I want to make it even harder by actually putting a fence right in the middle so that you might actually bounce out of bounds or something. Like, that's kind of interesting. All right, Isaac, that's time. Are you ready? Can you give me like one minute? Good, Isaac requested one minute extension. That gives me one minute extension so I can actually finish this. And I think that gives us exactly what I want. Oh my God, we managed to do it, guys. That is absolutely insane. 18 holes in a matter of 10 minutes, barely and uh they're actually all custom and unique which is also pretty incredible so all right isaac you ready let's take a look at yours i feel like i didn't get it like you know it's i only have one hole it's a mini golf course though and it does play all right uh bone meal um no you just got to get a snowball in your inventory i can give you one if you don't have any you just gotta throw your snowball down all right it's a par five zach so you know don't be okay. discouraged by your lack of distance all right so second shot oh boy <laughs> This nice. Is a doozy. It's a par five, though. It's a par <gasps> five. You're right on track. Three. All right. Oh, he hits the bunker. Four. Oh, he gets a birdie. He gets a bird. Wow. I like the design. You really went all out on theming it, even to the theme of the world we're building inside of, which is really cool. Yeah. You like my bears? I made them I myself. Do. I actually really do. This looks really nice. Did you build them by hand, or did you world edit them in? Uh, I definitely built them by hand. All right. Wow. Pretty good. Let's take a look at mine now. I present to you Loverland, a fully functional 18-hole golf course. I'm going to be honest. I was going to go for nine holes, and I was like, that's way too much at the scale I was building at. But you really, you really 
tied it down here. I know? did all 18. Come on, give him a shot. Go ahead and play. Non-functional holes is something I do not like to see. That should be a hopper. That should be a hopper right there. We want you to be low budget. I do like it though. You managed to get a whole course in here, which is pretty impressive. And every hole is unique and the difficulty scales as you go. You get your first water hazard here, second water hazard, this one you have to actually throw it over. It's pretty impressive that you managed to get 18. I'll say that. <laughs> I know. It's, I literally had to build nonstop. I couldn't even think. I just had to build. All right. I, I think I have a good vote for this one. Three, two, one. Oh, the bronze, that's worth even more. Nope, the bronze, I feel like it's in between gold and diamond. You just made up your own rating. Yeah, I combined the gold and the diamond. I feel like it wasn't a diamond, but it was a little bit better than a gold. Well done, you we know. just invented a new scoring rating, guys. Make sure you comment below and tell us which one of us won the build battle today. Give us an idea for what we should do in our next build battle challenge. Peace.